Hey everybody, it is Friday. Time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys have had a good week. It is March 1st. Celebration is over and we have a new group of products coming up next week. So this week, I'm going to do a little sneak peek for you. Um, we're going to use the Filled with Fun bundle. If you haven't seen what's coming on March 5th, Stampin' Up! is releasing online exclusive products every few months. And the next slew of products is coming out March 5th, which is Tuesday. And this is one of them. It's called Filled with Fun. And here are the dies. And I have to say, it's my favorite. Out of everything that's coming out, and there's a lot, this one's my favorite. So um, we're going to make three projects with it. I actually have six projects that I've done with it because I couldn't stop playing with it. Lots of ideas. Um, but today we'll do three. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about it as we go let me make sure i can find you guys and i'm in the right place there's like no other panicky feeling than when you realize you've gone live in the wrong group <laughs> you think once you've done it you're like i'll never do that again but it happens it happens to the best of us okay before i get started with all the things i want to tell you i have this huge pile look at this this is the pile of goodies that you guys have sent me over the last probably eight or nine weeks and I have just been piling them up to show you because every week I had so much stuff to tell you that I didn't have time but today we're going to take time um, today's projects are a little um, involved so I'm going to try to hurry um, when you guys send me cards in the mail it makes me very happy um, so thank you to all of you this is from Karen um, some of these it'll be Valentine's or whatever um, because I have been holding on to them but I just still want to show you that beautiful paper that I love so much. Very cute, Karen. Thank you. This one is from Amy, and um, I think this is one of our kits. We have so many kits now, I can't keep up with it, but isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that just scream spring? If you can see out the windows, today it is a gorgeous spring day here. Um, on my walk two days ago, I realized everything had suddenly bloomed, all the trees. So we get spring here late February. <laughs> And then summer begins. So we try to enjoy those like two weeks of spring that we have. Okay, this is from Kathy and I love this card. Do you guys remember that stamp set? It was a succulent stamp set and it had a lot of dyes. I did a class with this um, where we made 3D flowers and I love it. I loved it with Blackberry Bliss. So thank you, Kathy, beautiful. Um, this one, now this one is from Carol and this uses the flower cart bundle and I can't wait to use this, I have it scheduled i think for april facebook friday it is a really really beautiful one um carol i'm gonna hold this to the side and put it with my um flowering flower cart cards when we um get to it okay now i gotta i'm gonna save that one to the end this is from um let me see beth ann beth ann look how cute not a Christmas card, a thank you card. And she punched the bear from black. Why didn't I think about that? A cute little black bear. Very cute. We are going to California for our summer vacation. Um, we're going to do all the mountains and stuff. So that kind of reminds me of Northern California. Um, here's a Taco Fiesta card from Sandy. I love it. I was just thinking, I haven't done anything with my Taco Fiesta stamp in a while. I was thinking um, this little wagon that we're going to use today would be really cute with tacos in it <laughs> okay this one is oh the light the night I think it was a carryover from the uh, um, holiday catalog and you guys probably can't see it but there's glimmer paper back here really cool bundle I have it and I haven't even opened it I just ran out of time before um, the new year and I didn't get it but this is really cute this is from Marsha and she sent me a happy new year's card the bow I've probably smashed it but thank you Marsha uh, let's see, pink and black, my favorite. This is from Erin. Beautiful coloring, Erin. Beautiful pink and black. I could wallpaper this wall right here with the pink and black cards that I have. I love pink and black, you guys. Let me just adjust that. Okay, um, this one is from Donna. I remember, remember that paper? And what stamp is that, Donna? That's so, so cute. Very cute, Donna. Spring colors again. I love a coral and a navy together. Um, this is from, let me look. This is from Carla. 
beautiful. Look, she used that gold. Do you guys remember that gold acetate we had? It's really pretty. You can put it over any color. This is a fun one from Karen. It uses that new dog background stamp. Really, really cute, super cute. Um, and that little guy there, how cute is he? What was he from? Was he from a paper pumpkin or a kit or something? I can't remember. He's very cute. Ooh, and I really like that scroll work. That thank you die is pretty. Now this one is from, and this is a fun fold that I need to put in my fun fold collection. This is from Carrie, I believe. Um, yes, Carrie, yes, she says, um, I have fallen in love with this fun fold. This is really cool, watch. You open it, I'm sure it has a name. We'll use it, I'll put it in my fun fold pile and we'll make it really cool, Carrie, very cool. All right, uh, this one is from Rosemary, or Rosemary, whichever way, I probably said it wrong. Beautiful, look at that. Um, I can't remember what that stamp set is called, but it's so pretty. Again, navy and like a pink. Uh, that's my favorite spring combo is a navy and like a coral or a navy and a pink. Um, here's the blueberry stamp set that I love. This is from Carol. Really cool stamp set that, you know, I was just telling somebody today, there's so many stamp sets left in the spring catalog and we only have until the end of April. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to everything that I want to get to for Facebook Friday. We have a lot. Um, Trisha, I mentioned this a couple weeks ago. Before I received my long lost swaps, Trisha sent me a package of cards, um, her swap cards, um, to, uh, to, I love that, that layout. I've never done that. That's really neat. Um, to make me feel better, and it definitely made me feel better. Trisha, that's so sweet. It's a really good showcase of all these different designer series papers. There's some celebration things that are gone, long gone, and then this one that lavender. I don't think I could ever get tired of that, la or yeah, perennial lavender. Okay, one more. Let me move all of this. And this one is Taco Fiesta. Look how cute. And this is from um, Chris and Kathy. Wow, I didn't realize Chris and Kathy. Why did I miss out on the first, first, um, first run through that you guys did this together. Okay, this is so cute. They made this box. I have a special memory box that I'm putting all my Taco Fiesta things in, and this is definitely going in there. Look at all that fringe work. Um, inside, there were these cute little peppers, little like crocheted peppers. <laughs> Aren't they the cutest? And they made little tags for them, so cute. So cute, or maybe, I don't know, they're just cute. Oh my gosh, and there's taco. <laughs> yeah, they're so cute, I didn't see this the first time either. Little taco chili and uh, taco seasoning. Maybe that'll be our Friday night dinner. Thank you, Chris and Kathy, I appreciate it. That's a really fun gift to get. I love it when the mail comes, because you know, you know, we don't get very much fun mail anymore, but I love when the fun mail comes, and it's for me, and my husband's like, oh, I didn't get anything? No, nope, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip you guys around. Um, I have lots of things to show you. Let me turn you around. Okay, where shall we begin? Okay, first, I also want to make sure that my lens is clean. Let me clean it because I've been noticing lately. This is all I have here to clean it. Hold on, guys. I've been noticing lately that my lens is like, I don't know. I don't even want to say, like, it looks greasy or something. And that really affects the way, the quality. Okay, let's get you guys straight. Let's make sure. Did I turn it the right way? Like that. There we go. Okay. First of all, the bundle that we're doing today is filled with fun. And filled with fun is an online exclusive. You know, Stampin' Up! has started doing online exclusives about every... I don't remember, every three or four months. And we've got a new group of them coming on Tuesday. And you've probably started to see samples of these. This was the bundle I was gonna use today, but it's actually on back order right now for probably about another week or so. So I'm gonna save it till next Friday. Um, this is just a small sampling of what's coming. Beautiful paper. Um, there's several bundles, stamp sets, dies. There's glimmer paper. Um, lots of things. So it's all coming on Tuesday, okay? 
Um, I am going to extend, you know, usually Facebook Friday, I say, if you want the make and takes for free, have the your order by Monday at midnight. Well, this week, I'm going to extend that to Tuesday at midnight because you can't order filled with fun until Tuesday. So if you want to order filled with fun, you'll have to wait till then. And then you'll get the make and takes for free. So that just means probably that you, those of you that order consistently and you know when it's going to arrive at your house, um, it'll be probably a day or two late because the deadline's a little bit later, okay? Okay, here's another thing that is in the, the online exclusives, almost said new catalog. Um, Latte Love, this is another one that is really, really popular. Um, this is my new class to go. I just opened registration for it yesterday. There are six, no, I'm sorry, five cards. One of them is a gift card holder. Um, lots of just different ways to use the stamps and dies. And then the sixth project, is a little K-Cup Caddy, um, which I thought was super cute. How fun is this? Just the colors and everything. So you can get this class with a bundle, without the bundle, PDF only, Sweet Stampede discount kit. Um, if you look on today's blog post at pinkbuggery.com, there is a um, an icon at the bottom. Today's post is what I'm trying to say. If you click it, that'll take you. It's just yesterday's post. It'll give you the details. You like how I wrote my <laughs> information on a piece of a die cut that I didn't end up using. Um, it's 82 with the bundle, 45 without the bundle, 24 for the team discount kit, and 15 for the PDF. Um, they all include, well, all three of the actual kits will include all six make and takes. Um, they include, that price includes shipping. When you get the, the, um, kit that includes the bundle, you have to remember that the bundle's like $50, $54, I think. So then plus $8 shipping and you're going to get, where are these? Oh, here are these cute dots. They're called swirl dots, adhesive back swirl dot. <laughs> I almost called them squirrel dots. Um, this is how many I used. So look, when, you, when you're done with your kit, you're gonna have a bunch left over. You know, I always send lots of product in the kit so you can continue making your kit or your projects. Um, you'll have half a pack of the paper. You'll have a lot of paper left over. Um, I am sending one yard of this ribbon. Um, this is called the Natural polka dot trim and it's uh it's cute i mean anything polka dot you know i love it so anyway this is going to be open until march 22nd they'll ship march 29th okay so that is that i'm already running out of room let me put this over here um club create is my subscription club each month my subscribers get a kit that has five projects in it about 25 dollars in product um a video full video tutorial of all five projects and a PDF tutorial of all five projects. The March kit is the trusty tools kit. And um, you can uh, register for this through March 7th, which is what, next Thursday? Yes, next Thursday. Um, they come, they kind of look like this. They're different each time. Sometimes um, you get a bolt of ribbon and embellishment. Sometimes you get a full pack of paper. It's just, it's different every time. Um, I have celebration paper stored up so that everybody's going to get some celebration paper as well as three embellishments in this kit. Again, you'll have lots left over. And they come in these really cool envelopes. These, um, they're called document folders, I think. Um, there's something else I was going to tell you. Oh, the next kit that starts next Friday is the Beach Day Club Create Kit. All right, so it features the Beach Day bundle in the spring catalog. So you have until the 7th to subscribe to this. And then starting next Friday, if you subscribe, it'll your kit, first kit would be the beach day kit. If you're a subscriber already, you don't have to do anything. You'll just automatically keep getting those kits until you cancel. You can cancel anytime you want. Um, you can join for one month, six months, 12 months, whatever you wanna do, you just cancel it or you email me and say, you know what, I'm ready to cancel. A lot of times, you know, the kits pile up, you get behind, you're like, I gotta catch up. Um, I totally get it. Um, if you stay for six months though, I reward you with a $25 product credit of your choice. So then in your kit, your six month kit, you get whatever you've chosen for free in your kit. Okay. So that is that. Um, there's a tab at the top of my blog that says club create. If you click on that, it will take you to the club create page where you will find all those details. And the PDF is available as well. The PDF has 
written instructions, but also has a link for the video. And that's in my PDF store for $15. If you don't want to join Club Create, you can always just buy the PDF. Whew, okay, um, rock and roll, you guys. This is this March's um, all-star tutorial. And let me tell you that this rock and roll um, suite did not, I mean, I thought it was cute, but it has quickly become one of my very favorite suites in the whole spring catalog. So this month's all-star tutorial features, look at that purple, so cute. It's funny how there's 12 of us all around the world and we all design one project and we submit them, you know, at the end of the month and then our friend Bruno puts them together in a PDF. And we don't really see each other. I mean, we see each other's projects, but it's not like we're, you know, planning it out. And it's so funny how rich the variety is. Everybody takes, you know, has a different take on the product. It's really fun. Um, but this month is uses this um, rock and roll suite, like I said, and it's great. This is my project this month. It's a angle box. Hold some nuggets or just whatever you want. But man, these are so cute. I really haven't even looked through the whole thing yet. I just printed it off the printer. You can get this for free if you spend 15, if you spend $50 with me in March, I will send it to you for free. By the way, I have sent everybody February's. So if you shopped with me in February, you spent over $50 and you did not receive it, just send me an email. I miss people sometimes. Um, sometimes they bounce, sometimes they go to spam, sometimes who knows what happens. Don't ever hesitate to email me and say, can you please resend it or send it or whatever. So you get it free if you shop with me. Um, but if you're a demonstrator or you already have your own demonstrator and you don't want to shop with me, no problem. I don't mind. That's fine. Um, it's available in my PDF store. It's $15. Um, and you get 12 videos. They're all videos. There are links and QR codes in here that takes you to the video. It has measurements in Imperial and metric and is really good. I love it. Okay. So that is that. I think we're at the end of my pile. That didn't take quite as long as I thought it was going to be. Now this week for Facebook Friday, again, if you just joined us, um, hi Trisha. Okay, good. I'm glad you got it. Um, this week, what I'm using is not available yet. It will be available on Tuesday. So I'm extending the deadline for today's make and takes to Tuesday, Tuesday night at midnight. Um, if you have never done Facebook Friday with us before, you can go to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. You'll find this free PDF. It has all the measurements that you'll need, supply list. It also has, we're using something from Amazon <laughs> on all three projects. So I linked all of those as well. Um, and then here are the things that I talked about. Now, okay, good. I want to make sure I put the right date. Here's the host code. If you're order, if you are going to order with me to get these make and takes for free, please use the host code. If your order is under 150, if it's over 150, don't use the host code. You get Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up and I'll still send you the projects. This is what they look like. You'll need the bundle. You'll need this. Um, but I send you everything else. You get, you know, if I use ribbon, I send you ribbon. I send you punches, die cuts. I won't send you any of these die cuts. So you'll need this and this. But everything else I will send you in your little make and take kit for free. Every now and then I do have to substitute a ribbon or an embellishment because, you know, I hope that I have enough of it on hand and sometimes I don't. So then I'll just sub. So every now and then you'll find a little bit of change in your kit, um, but it'll still work. Okay. I think that's it. Let me, uh, let's talk about door prizes. Lori, Lori Sansbury. She is, uh, I know who she is. She's on my team. Lori won Kidding Around, the Kidding Around bundle, which we're going to use today. We're going to use that one right there. Um, Lori, I'll get that in the mail to you. Thanks for sharing the video. Today's prize, this week's prize, is a bundle I don't even have. It's called Delicate Forest, and uh, it's really cool. I don't have it. <laughs> I'm giving it away to you, so I hope whoever wins it likes it. All you have to do is share the video on Facebook or on YouTube to be entered to win. All right, are you guys ready to stamp? Thanks for the shares. I appreciate it. Um, oh, yay, Lori, there you are. You, congratulations. All right, now, here is my dilemma, you guys. I was going to do the Xenia set today, 
And then um, I was gonna save this for a couple of weeks because the first card I'm gonna show you is a swap card that I haven't even swapped yet. My team swap is um, not this coming Monday, but the next Monday. So if you're on my team and you're swapping and you wanna be surprised, don't look at this card. <laughs> I kinda had to do some last minute rearranging because the Xenia set won't be available and I did it didn't want to do a Facebook Live on a product that wasn't available. You know how I am. Sometimes it can't be avoided, but I have projects designed for the next few weeks, so I had to just rearrange some things. Um, okay, so here it is. Now, you guys, this stamp set and die set give you two options to make a wagon. My favorite always is the paper piecing. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, paper piecing means you cut pieces out of different colored paper and piece them together. So that's what we're gonna do for this wagon. Now the other option is to stamp, and we're gonna do that on the second project. There's um, two things you can put in your wagon. There's some balloons. Um, the banner is my favorite part. Um, but I started, after I made our projects, I started thinking of things, other things to put in the wagon, and I kind of spun out of control. Like I was like, I need to make a card with tacos. I need to make a card with Easter bunnies. I need, you know, like I had all these ideas, but I, I couldn't, you know, I had like other things I had to do. So I challenge you guys to make some wagon cards that have things in the wagon that are not necessarily from the wagon stamp set. Okay. And if you do, you have to show me because I want to see them. All right. Let me, let me move this just a little bit. Now this card, <laughs> I always say that if I'm gonna do a swap card, it's gonna, it has to be easy. And every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make this swap card, it's easy. And then there I am with 15 pieces per card. I'm like, why do I do this to myself every time? I don't know how to do simple, apparently. Simple is just not really in my vocabulary. Can you guys relate? <laughs> oh, Lisa, are we not in the same swap category or swap group? Dang it, I almost signed up for the second group too. I almost did. But then somebody did and took the place and it closed and I was like, okay, good. Okay, um, let's make our wagon first. Now today, all of these projects, again, I'll reiterate, I don't understand the word simple very well. Um, so all of these projects are a little bit tedious. And when I say tedious, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean there's lots of little pieces like this. So I've done a lot of things ahead of time. Um, for our wagon, for this project, I've cut out, let me show you which dies to use. This die right here is the back side of the wagon, and this die right here is the front side. So, of course, I had to make like a radio flyer wagon, right? Um, the red radio flyer. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put daisies in it. If I can find where I put my stamp, is it on the other tray? I hope it is. Um, <laughs> here it is. I didn't bring everything over. Um, my my poor sweet friend Rhonda, I know some of you watch Rhonda. Um, she is living between two cities right now and she was gonna do a live and the stamp set was in the other city. And I was like, you know what? I'm I, like, I'm sorry that happened to you, but it made me feel better because sometimes right before I go live, I can't even find the stamp set and I don't live between two cities. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes it's just a lot, you guys. Um, luckily I found it. Okay, so we've stamped the daisies in memento black. The handle I'm gonna stamp in pecan pie. And the other thing we're gonna stamp is um, the banner. And I'm wondering, I just used this this morning. Did I clean it? Who thinks I cleaned it? I usually don't clean my stamps. I'm, I'm a disgusting stamper. It's clean, I checked it. And we'll stamp the banner in Daffodil Delight. Okay, now, again, trying to keep things pretty simple because it's a swap card. So we're gonna keep the flowers as daisies, which means all we have to color are the leaves, the stems, and the flower centers, which is very easy. So granny apple green light, and then granny apple green dark. I'm just gonna take the dark and do like half a leaf on each one just to give it a little variation. All right, and then take your Daffodil Delight and color all of that in, okay? 
Now, I'm not gonna cut them out because I already did it for you guys. So we've got this die goes here, here's the handle, and then here's the daisies and abracadabra, and they are cut out. Uh-oh, but you know what? I'm missing the banner, so I think we are gonna have to cut it out. Man, did I really not cut it out? Well, we have to cut it because it's so stinking cute. Good thing my uh, cut emboss machine is right here. One of the things that, now, if you're looking for individual recordings of these, again, I know with all the chit chat, some of you are like, just be quiet and make the card. Um, and I appreciate those of you that message me and say, I like the chit chat good because it makes it more fun for me too. Uh, but if you're looking for just a quick, a clean, quick video, I have recorded these over on YouTube, okay? And they're just individual, um, edited, a lot, probably better quality. One thing I recommend with these dies is to get your post-it tape, okay? Um, they're little. And for some of the cards, there's quite a few pieces. So I linked the post-it tape again today. Um, post-it tape is like my favorite non-stamping up product that I use in my crafting. All right, so I found with these, you know, I realized just one of my lights is turned around. Let me turn that around. Um, what I realized with these dies is that if you use the foam strips, it, it's, it makes it really easy. So just, you know, like snip a little selection of your foam strips, foam adhesive strips. Put that right there on the bottom like that and adhere that to that. Oh, you know what? The other thing that we need are some tires, some wheels, which I have right here, two basic black wheels to... Um, Smoky Slate hubcaps. And by the way, um, this was another gift I got in the mail. I think I told you guys last week, Kathy sent me some cute little Pioneer Woman bowls to replace the cute Pioneer Woman bowls that I broke. They're so cute. I think I might even like these better than the ones that I broke. Pioneer Woman, man, she knows how to do it. Her stuff's so cute. Have you guys seen her stuff? I'm sure you have at Walmart. I love everything she does. And she has furniture now, apparently. I think maybe it's just online. Have any of you gone to her Oklahoma? She has a, you know, like, you know, like Magnolia. It's her Magnolia, whatever it's called. It's called, what's it called? Uh, I can't remember, in Oklahoma. She's awesome. I like her. I love her cooking show. Okay, take your banner and a couple of glue dots. The Merc, Cynthia, thank you. I was waiting for somebody to say the Merc, yes. Has anybody been? I wanna go. I've never been to Oklahoma and it's right next to Texas. All right, so let's put that there. We're gonna save that. Oh, did I not glue our hubcaps on? Um, been there, Patty? Well, Patty, you live in Oklahoma. I would hope you've been there. Is it as cute as you think it's gonna be? Where in Oklahoma is it? Like. I'm directionally challenged. Is it north, south, east, west, central? Which part of Oklahoma? Because, you know, to get out of Texas, it takes a good eight hours. <laughs> Even though it's next to Texas, it's like a world away. All right, the next thing that we're going to do, you need a piece of um, this plaid. And I, I wanted to use a yellow plaid, you guys, but I didn't have a yellow plaid. So... Where is my regular adhesive? So when you don't have what you need, we just make it, right? North of Tulsa. Okay, well, Susan, where's Tulsa? <laughs> Northeast corner. Okay, okay. You guys, I don't know Oklahoma. I know some things, but I don't know Oklahoma at all. Um, Daffodil Delight cardstock, and we'll get Daffodil Delight ink. I don't have any funny stories for you guys. None. Usually I have funny stories for you guys. I got nothing for you this week. It's not been a funny week. <laughs> it's warm though. I'm sure I'll have some snake stories soon. Okay, so sketched plaid, daffodil light, daffodil light. 
We've already got a piece here, so we'll just cut it to a, we want it to be um, four and a fourth by, is it four and a fourth? It's both, okay, by one and a half. All right. And then the very last thing is we have this little basic white strip of paper. It's freezing there. Here it is beautiful. It was cold yesterday. It was like upper 40s yesterday and we had a lot of wind. You know, I can handle the cold. I cannot handle a cold wind. And then today it's like 75 and glorious. We're in that roller coaster of South Texas spring. Yes, Gail, they're coming. I've been taking Pepper on a walk every evening because she's getting chunky. <laughs> um, and I keep, she, you know, she's a schnauzer and schnauzers are, born, are bred to like sniff out rodents and stuff. So she gets down on the ground, like sniffing out things in the weeds and it scares me to death that she's gonna find a snake. She, she is vaccinated. There's a rattlesnake vaccine. These are the things you gotta do down here in Texas. <laughs> she's got a rattlesnake vaccine which supposedly will cover that other nasty snake too. Um, the copperhead. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna take a piece of tear and tape. I think tear and tape is really good for ribbon. I think it holds it really well. And for this ribbon, it is like exactly the right width. We're gonna run our black and white check ribbon across there. Bricktown, well maybe I need to just plan a road trip to Oklahoma. There was something my daughter wanted to do in North Texas, my older daughter, some kind of art something, I don't know. Maybe she and I should do, oh, dagnabbit. I didn't put that down there. Okay, well, we can fix that. This is a piece of, let's see where we need to trim it. This is a piece of basic white that I embossed, I'm gonna put a little snip where it needs to be, Boop. Um, that I embossed with one of the basic 3D embossing folders. Now, when you look at the price, it's $30. You're like, what? Why is an embossing folder $30? Well, it's three embossing folders. You get three and uh, it's like a little bundle. And they're really good, just basic patterns. I don't like an embossing folder that's too busy. Okay, look, we fixed it. Now you didn't even know that I made a mistake. All right, dimensionals. We're gonna put some dimensionals on here. Um, I'm trying to, oh, the JLo documentary. I was, I missed a bunch. I'm like, what are we talking about? Um, you know what? I heard it was really good. I heard it was good. That's like a, something I gotta watch with uh, my husband. He would be like, I'm out of here. But yeah, I, um, you know, I watch the Today Show every day and they love JLo. They love Taylor Swift on the Today Show too, but they had her on. And can I, can we just talk about JLo and her aging? How does she look so amazing? I mean, she is like found the fountain of youth. She is gorgeous. I know, good makeup, good lighting, but still, dang. Just, I mean, wow. I, I wanna watch it, cause it's like music and documentary, right? Yeah, you know, Kimberly, I never got on the Swift train either, and none of my girls are Swifties. I don't not like her. I just, I don't know. I'm just meh. I, you know, I kind of feel like I'm missing out because <laughs> people are so crazy about Taylor Swift. I'm like, what am I missing? Yeah, she definitely has a team for that, Lisa, for sure. Do you say Dag Dabbit? That, that's what I'm trying. That's what I say when I'm trying not to say something else. I can't say something else on Facebook Live. Okay, so <laughs> dimensionals, then they will delete my video. Not that I would ever say something else, never. Um, <laughs> uh, brass, brushed brass, is that what we're calling them? Brushed brass butterflies, and there you go. How cute is the wagon, you guys? I mean, it's really cute. Uh, I, it reminds me of the truck that we have. And um, something else, we had something else, what was it? I don't know, but think about the things that you could put in your wagon. I mean, just right now off the top of your head, what could you put on in your wagon? The possibilities are endless. 
endless, I tell you. Okay, let me clean up and get the next project. Now, the next project is a card that moves. Card that moves. And it's got a lot of pieces, too. Look, the whole tray is full of stuff. But I think I've made it pretty simple. I mean, I think. We're gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking. I realized when I made my video yesterday that there's something you gotta make sure that you do. Okay, here's my color scheme. Kind of weird colors for me, but I was trying to break out of the real red daffodil delight. Um, we're gonna use berry burst, lemon lolly, blueberry bushel, which I love blueberry bushel. Um, Calypso coral. Kind of a weird combo, right? But I think it works. It, you know, I think we all have our favorite color combos that we tend to gravitate towards. I definitely do. So I just sometimes I'm like, okay, Erica, you gotta use something else. Something else. Okay, so let me show you how this card works. You pull the little tab and the little wagon, it slides. Now, the way that I've attached it is it's a magnet. Okay, so this thing, this pull thing has magnets in it or on it, on the inside. So that just snaps on. Now, the thing that I realized yesterday is I put the magnets too high on this one or something, or maybe I, we need to make this part be up a little bit higher so that our wagon, I mean, it's fine, but I kind of like it in the middle a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm being an engineer. Are you guys proud of me? Engineered that card all on my own. Sometimes I'm pretty impressed with myself. I don't even have an engineering degree. <laughs> okay, we'll stamp the birthday presents. I'm calling it a birthday scene. Ooh, that was bad. Let's do that again. I rocked it. Um, a little birthday scene, a cake and some presents and oh thanks clever i like being called clever nancy okay now we've got that this time we're going to stamp the tires so you need two tires or wheels i don't know are they tires or are they wheels i don't know um we need the sentiment okay so the sentiment is from not this set where did i put it it's all the way over here it's called Hooray for Surprises, and it's the little one that has like the peel, you know, like, which we haven't used. I mean, I, that's another one I need to use where you, can, it die cuts a little perforation and you could peel it up. Well, the stamp set, even if you don't want to do deal with those dies, the stamp set is great. I love the fonts and the sentiment. So we're going to use Hooray. Okay, so we just want to stamp the Hooray and not the other stuff. And because it's a photopolymer, we can just do like this on the edge. See how I can see exactly what I'm doing. And I just got ink there on the hooray. Now, if you don't, if you're like, I can't do that, use your post-it tape again, okay? Use your post-it tape. Okay, so we have that. What else did we need? Uh, we need a handle, which is right here little handle, and I feel like there's something else that we needed, but I guess that's it. Um, okay, so let's color. I'm, I'm gonna do this kind of quick, because this is a little bit tedious. Um, I'm gonna start with Calypso Coral, and we're gonna color in the cake part of the cake. We're gonna leave the icing white. I try to simplify coloring. Like, how can I color this little thing and make it not so overwhelming. And I'm going to show you something that I, I think we're going to do differently. So now I'm just going to take the dark and outline those, like those stripes. And there's a little row of icing right here. And I'll just color those and then stripe, 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 stripe. And you could even do like a little shadow if you wanted. Again, I obviously don't know what simplify means. <laughs> I kind of like a shadow under the icing, okay? Do, 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 do. And then just take that light Calypso Coral and just 
do it again. Go over it. It's all going to kind of blend together. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to take light berry burst and we're going to color just the bow here. You know, I think we're going to leave the presents white. I think that's what I decided. We'll leave the gift wrap white and just put colored bows on them. That's one way to simplify. So you don't have to do a ton of coloring. So we'll do that bow. Oh, the other thing I did here was dot, 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 making a little light polka dot wrapping paper. Okay. Then let's take um, lemon lolly and we'll color just the bow. Okay. I mean, we could do polka dots on that too, but nope, I'm gonna leave it. And then we'll take blueberry bushel. Blueberry bushel is a dark color. So even the light blueberry bushel is dark. So I recommend that you just use the light. Oh, it's really hard for me to leave those white. I'm thinking they need to be colored. So much for simplifying. Well, we'll just leave it for now because I've already colored this and cut it out for us. And if you want to see more detailed coloring, go to the YouTube recording. It's much better. Um, also for our candles, little yellow, little lemon lolly. Okay. So now that you've got it colored, you're going to get your dyes. And you know, when you have invested time coloring, you do not want that dye to slip. So put your post-it tape on there like that, okay? Now the hooray, let me tell you about this new little die set. Look, we've never had a little die set like this. It's just little, these little banners. I am gonna use this one right here. They're called Happy Little Things Dies. It's $12. They will be available on Tuesday as well, okay? There's a stamp set that goes with it and I can't remember what it is, but the dies are fun. Okay, so pretend that we ran that through the cut and emboss machine, and here are all the pieces. Now, the other thing that you're gonna need to do, why is this in here? I, you know, it was, this was lost, and I was looking for this. Okay, now I found it. So here's that piece, here's the little label. Um, we've got the handle and the two wheels. And, oh, the, oh, the, <laughs> <laughs> the wagon. We have to stamp the wagon, you guys. Okay, bring that paper back over. I was like, something's missing from here. You know, we're probably like, hello, you need the wagon. Blueberry bushel, okay? All right. Ooh, rainy North Carolina. I like rainy weather. I do. We don't get it much around here. Okay, now here's the other thing that you need. You need to cut out, after you've cut this one out right here, Cut out a plain basic white one. That's gonna help us sandwich those wheels. See how it's just a little bit lower down here? It's gonna give you somewhere to adhere your wheels to because if you just have this, really you don't have anywhere to adhere your wheels. So what we're gonna do, let's start with um, the, the little birthday part first. We're gonna put some adhesive right there and then Put that like that, okay? Now, take your dimensionals. Why can I never lay anything back down in the same place? I should have like, you know how Julia Child had her, um, she had her kitchen where she drew the pots where they went, so if it was missing, she'd know what was missing. That's what I should do on my table. Here go your dimensionals, here's your glue, here's your scissors. Okay, so we've got <laughs> we've got dimensionals. Now take this, and we're gonna adhere it, but just a tiny, tiny bit higher. Can you see how it's hanging over just a little bit? Then we can take some glue and just put a little bit of glue in between there, and take your wheels and slide them, and now they're attached to that back side of. I mean, you might have enough space. Look, I have made a mess with the glue. 
You might have enough space to adhere them on the back of this, but I think just creating that sandwich is gonna give you a more secure situation, I think. Okay, many dimensionals. We haven't used those yet, right? Many dimensionals for our hooray. And we'll put one there and one, oh, come on, one there. And we're gonna put that right there. Now I'm gonna get a glue dot. Have we used glue dots yet? Are they rolling around? Yep, here they are. See, I really do need to draw. <laughs> <laughs> my place is like, okay, put your glue dots here, right here. All right, and then we're gonna adhere that to the back like that. Okay, so now, oh, I didn't cover those dimensionals enough. Hmm, is that gonna be a problem? I'm trying to think. Maybe if I just remove the sticky, it won't be a problem. <laughs> With your finger, you know, just remove the sticky. They're poking out a little bit. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna let that sit over here and dry for a few minutes. And we're gonna get the other pieces and start putting it all together. Um, let's start with our little background piece. We're gonna stamp, it has the cutest little heart stamp right here. <laughs> Did you see me looking for it? Couldn't find it. Um, it has a cute little heart. So we're just gonna do like a little heart pattern in the back. Oh, don't do this to me. Okay, let's start over. We're gonna make a little heart pattern in the back. Ooh, one thing I was gonna tell you guys is it was so warm here on Monday that I got in the pool. I mean, I had to heat it a little bit, <laughs> but it was like 85 degrees. You know, our pool was finished right as winter arrived, so we really haven't gotten to swim very much. But then we had the cold front come through, so I don't know. I'm just like, please, I wanna get in my pool. Okay. There we go, whatever. You got your hearts, right? Now, set that up here. We've got, you're gonna need a piece of crumb cake that is two and a half inches by five. On the short side, you wanna score it at half and one and a half. This is gonna be our little tunnel that we pull the, um, that you know holds our little magnet piece. So fold it in and then that little half inch lip fold it over and get your tear and tape this is a good place for tear and tape put that right there and um it did my wheel slip oh my gosh oh, thank you mary you caught it just in time <laughs> i didn't notice there we go okay it's good oh, disaster we averted a disaster all right, um, you guys have seen me rip things apart before. You know we can fix it. All right, so there we go. Now here's your little tunnel. Now this is gonna be our little mechanism and it needs to be five and a half inches. And what I found, and I only cut, okay, pretend that they're the same size, okay? Everybody just pretend they're the same size. I found that you need to kind of double up on this. Otherwise, look, this one's not double up, doubled up. Come on. Come on, don't do this. When I push it back in, it kind of bends like that. So double up on these to make them stronger. You need two of them, five and a half by seven eighths, okay? All right, so then this little piece is gonna slide into this little tunnel like that, okay? Now, here's the thing you're gonna need. These little button magnets, we've used these many times they're from Amazon and I have them linked today on today's blog post. You need four of them, okay? They're very inexpensive and there's like a bazillion in the pack. So you're gonna use four and we're gonna get glue dots. Let's just line them all up on here. Well, I have to make sure I get the glue dot on the right side. That's one thing you gotta make sure, okay? Oh, come, come on. Glue dot and flip this one over. And oh, well, don't embarrass me, magnet. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna take, let me think, how do I wanna do this? Yes, okay, we're gonna take this. Nope, 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 yep, it's out, okay. Take one and let's put it right there. I'm gonna put it a little bit towards the top. And then take the other one 
and put it right there. Okay, now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put it on which one it goes on, like that. Okay, they've got glue dots on top of them. Let's get our hooray. And we're gonna adhere that, not it, well, we're gonna adhere it to the magnets. Okay, so now it will lift off. Okay, you see how that's attached there like that? Now we'll slide this in like this. Okay, make sure it goes all the way in. And then we've got this piece right here that is um, Glorious Gingham Designer Series Paper. And we're gonna adhere this behind. The gingham paper is gonna hide our little mechanism. And I mentioned that we want this more towards the top of our paper. So I'm gonna do it like that. Before I press it down, let's see. Oh yeah, that's better, like that. So those magnets are so strong that they will go through one, two layers of paper. Pretty cool, right? All right, bring back your hearts and we're gonna adhere this right on here like that. And then just find where it catches. And now you've got, now you've got your cute little wagon. I mean, who's not gonna love this card? Be great for a grandkid or a friend. I mean, you know, we're gonna use dimensionals. I just think it's really cute. Pretty easy, right? Not difficult. I mean, probably the most difficult thing is getting the glue dots on the tiny magnets. I mean, it's easy, right? You know, that was the first idea I had when I looked at this stamp set. And I had to like let it simmer and think about, okay, exactly how do we wanna make our little wagon move? It's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. All right, we'll put that right there. And we need to put a bow because, you know, I have a hard time doing anything without a bow. Just a tiny white twine bow. Oh, I'm gonna cut myself. We'll get a glue dot. And put that right there on the handle. Make sure it doesn't stick to the back. Okay. So there you go, there's your little moving wagon. Let's make the inside cute too. I have a piece of basic white and we will stamp the banner. What color did we stamp the banner with? Last, I probably need to clean this, I can't remember. I don't think it was, was it yellow? Maybe it was. I can't remember what I did. Let's see what I did on the inside. Oh yeah, we did yellow. Okay, so that will need Daffodil Delight and Blueberry Bushel. And we'll just do some banners. Again, if you're like me and you don't know what to write inside a card, just fill it up with stamps and then you don't have to write very much. I know that's pretty tacky, isn't it? If you ever get a card from me, it doesn't say much, you'll know. She didn't know what to say. She didn't know what to say. All right, here's another piece of Glorious Gingham in the blueberry bushel. We'll put that down here. I'm kind of jumping around, aren't I? Let's finish the stamping. Um, Uh-oh. Hey, don't, oh, now my, my wagons are magneting, magneting together. Magneting, magneting. <laughs> There's digging together. All right, confetti, cute little confetti. We'll do a little bit of confetti right here. We'll do some confetti here. I'm just gonna make it so all I have to say is happy birthday, love, Erica, because I don't wanna have to write a bunch of things in your card. Celebrating someone special. Very cute, I just, that's, I don't know. It's the gingham, I think. It just gets me every time. Gets me every time. Okay, now this card's a little bit heavy. You're definitely gonna need extra postage if you send this in the mail. What do you guys think? Not too difficult, right? I think it's pretty, pretty easy for blonde engineering. <laughs> blonde engineering. Um, Nancy, 
Oh gosh, that's funny. Um, coffee beans and Starbucks gift card. Who said that? That's very cute, Lisa. Um, yeah, Nina, exactly. I find the penny sliders are difficult. You have to cut a, you know, slit in there and that's why. And then, you know what, if they want to throw away the card, then they can just, then now they got a magnet for their fridge. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Hopefully they wouldn't throw away the card. I mean, what kind of friend would throw away the card? Goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's clean up. And we've got one more. Now, this other one, well, you'll see. It's very cute. It's very cute, but it's got a lot of pieces. It's got a lot of pieces. Okay, I got to clean, clean, clean. We've got, to, we've got to bring over this tray that has quite a few things on it. Where do, okay, adhesive is in the top corner. Everybody, when I'm looking for my adhesive, please tell me. It's in the upper left-hand corner. All right. The last card is inspired by something I saw in August, a long time ago. Um, again, my friend Rhonda, she got a swap from somebody that had these cute little tiny sewing kits in them. Do you see this? They are, there's 50 of them in a package for $8.99, okay? And they've been sitting over here on my counter since August, because as soon as I got home, I ordered them. I knew I wanted to make something with them. Um, and as soon as I saw this wagon and I started, my brain started like, what else could we put in there? I knew this would fit perfectly in the wagon. So that's what we're going to do. Um, the colors for this card, I have to give a shout out to Stampin' Up. They have been doing a... Um, creative challenge every month. I, I don't seem to see it very often, but I just happened to see it this week. Um, it was the February creative challenge and these were the colors. Um, Tahitian, well, I don't think they spe specified the colors, but these were the colors that I interpreted. They give you like a little swatch. And um, we're gonna be using Highland Heather, Fresh Freesia, Parakeet Party, and Tahitian Tide, which are two colors that I never use, but oh my gosh, I love them. So if you're not following Stamping Up on social media, you have to do it. They have really stepped up their social media game. They're sharing beautiful projects. They've got creative challenges. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so we're not gonna put the flowers inside of the wagon. We're gonna put them beside the wagon. And again, because I don't understand the word simple, you need four sets of flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry, you need four sets of flowers, okay? Come on, you got time, you can do four sets. It's not that big of a deal. Color them really easily. You know, stamp the banner. I had to use the banner on every single project. Stamp the banner in Fresh Freesia. This time we're gonna stamp the handle in Memento Black. Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party are in colors. And they're, why, why haven't I been using them? Right, they're, yes, they are, are no, yes, <laughs> they are, right? Suddenly I'm drawing a blank. Are they the ones retiring? Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet. What else? Um, you know, the colors. <laughs> They're retiring. Oh my gosh. I forgot they were retiring. I hate when in colors retire. I get attached to them. These are so good. Okay, so take your... I'm not going to color all of these. Don't worry. We're going to do the same thing as we did on the other ones. Parakeet Party... What's the one I'm missing? Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. How could I forget? Those are those are really good colors. Um, okay, so I'm not going to do the whole thing, but let me just tell you I'm taking... Um, let's do... Mm, should I do dark or light? Let's do dark. I think I use dark. Fresh Breezy is a pretty light color, so your dark is going to be good. Okay, so do that. Cut them all out. Now, you're going to spend 10 minutes coloring this. Use your post-it tape when you cut them out because if that dye slips, you're not going to be very happy. You're going to be cursing my name. All right, so now here is the extra one. I had to 
for my, look, I have five. Okay, well, whatever. Here's this and here's this. You're gonna cut out the wagon from Highland Heather. Let's get our adhesive, foam adhesive strips. And we'll put that, I put it down here on the bottom. I couldn't decide if this should go up high like that, right? I, I decided that it should go low like that. So that's how I'm putting it. I don't know if that's the correct way, but that's the way I liked it better. So you decide which way you like yours better. All right, we'll put the banner on. Um, these little sewing kits, I was like, okay. One of the things I love to do is to go through our stamps and find sentiments that can be, have, you know, like a double meaning. Um, and I was thinking for this, um, something about you're strong, you're stronger than you know, you know, because you're sewing, making something secure. I couldn't really find anything that, there was something in the pansy set, I can't remember, something in the pansy set, but then I thought, what if we used the new mini alphabet die and cut out the letters sew, because it's a sewing kit. And so then that led me to find this stamp, it's your birthday, no, 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 this one, you are amazing, <laughs> it's so your birthday, I mean, you could, but you are so amazing seems to make more sense. You are so amazing. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? I challenge you to look through your stamps and find stamps that could have like a different meaning, um, you know, for the, for the things that you're doing. Um, Mary, you bought the die set and haven't used it. Okay, well, let me tell you about this die set. First, let's do this part. This is um, a basic border die. I think it's clouds, but we're making it grass. And we're gonna cut that piece of parakeet party like that. And then let's get that alphabet die. Who knows where, where did I set it down? Right here. <laughs> Raise your hand if you see it. Um, the whole alphabet is in one die. And there are multiples of some of them, like the A, um, there's two E's, there's two S's, two R's. I mean, there's quite a bit of letters in here. So you just need a quarter sheet of cardstock, actually less than a quarter sheet. And when you run it through, you're gonna have all of these letters. I'm gonna try to keep it so that they're not flying everywhere. All right, let's move this down here. And this is when you want your take your pick tool now, if you are really good at saving things, you can save these letters for another time because we're only using the S and the E and the W. Now, if you don't wanna waste your paper, which I know some of you are like, whoa, that's a waste, then just cut out a little square and you can run your die through like this. You can run it upside down and just put the square over the letters that you need. You could do that if you want. Okay, but see, it cuts the whole alphabet in one swoop, and I like that they're um, all in one die. You know the little letter dies? You start running it through and they like jump, and I don't know, they're kind of a little tedious. This I like because they're all together in one die. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is an envelope from Sending Love, and I cannot glue this envelope without making a mess. Let's see if I can do it today. You wanna put the glue basically just right here on this edge and right here on this edge. Let's see if I can do it. Most of the envelope's gonna be stuck down in the wagon, so you won't see it anyway. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. This is from the Sending Love dies. Yeah, see? Uh, that one did pretty good. So just as little glue as possible. Sending Love dies are the ones with the mailbox that we did around Valentine's Day. All right, get your little mini clothespin, hold it. Now, this is something that you could leave out. You could just stick that in there, but I was like, I wanna use the envelope. I think it's cute. So you decide. Um, okay, now get ready, okay? Because here comes the tricky part. Again, today's theme, today's theme is Erica doesn't understand the word simple. It's just not in my vocabulary, okay? We're gonna mask off and we're gonna do you are 
amazing. And the thing that you have to do on this piece is get them both on the edge in order really for your sew to fit, okay? So get your post-it tape. And if you have your Stamparatus or your Misty or whatever, this might be a time where you to do that. That way you can be assured that it is straight. Okay, so we're gonna mask off and we're gonna stamp that. We've got the UR. Take the tape off and come all the way over here and stamp UR, okay? Now let's clean it. This is where I messed up yesterday, let's see. Can I do it? Can she do it? Cover up the UR. You know what, the, the little dot in the eye kind of gets in the way, so you might need to finagle your tape so that it's covering, you know. Okay, ink, remove, and now over on the end. Hey, look at that, I did it. Okay, you are, now we have room for the S and the E and the W. All right, third time's the charm. The first time. <laughs> okay, full transparency. The first time I did this, I had to cut the letters off and do it again because I, my stamping was terrible. So do your stamping first. I'm sure you've got plenty of white cardstock. You can just keep doing it until you get it perfect. And then glue your letters. That way you don't have to recut your letters if you mess up the stamping. Okay, S-E-W. You are so amazing. I mean, this could be you are so cute. You are so fun. You are so wonderful. You could make this anything. And it's just, you know, a cute card that has a cute sewing kit. All right, I forgot, we needed the wheels. I already have them cut out. Man, I did a lot of die cutting ahead of time. Oh man, we're running so late. Okay, okay, I'm hurrying. Um, dot and a dot. A dot is a lot, don't forget. A dot of, of Tombow is a whole lot. For whatever reason, Tombow just a little goes a long way. All right, that guy we don't need. All right, we are ready to put this baby together. I have, again, used my Basics 3D embossing folder to emboss this beautiful retiring Tahitian Tide piece. We're gonna put our Parakeet Party grass. Then we're gonna get our four sets of flowers. Okay, now in my defense, I started out with two sets of flowers. And then I thought, well, you really can't see them very well behind the wagon, so let's add two more. That's how we ended up with four sets of flowers. And now I have five, so maybe I'll just add the fifth. And you just slide them in there, just overlapping. It's like a jungle. Somebody's beautiful yard in like June. Okay, there we go. Now um, let's, okay, for this, because we're gonna slide this in, you want to take your, um, you know, take your foam adhesive sheet and put it pretty low, actually, like that. You don't want to, you don't want to cause the tires to not be able to slip in there, but also you want that envelope to be able to slip down in there. Okay. All right. So put that mm, about right there. Um, let's use glue for our tires. Take your pick tool. You know what, guys? Here's something funny I was going to tell you. Well, it's not really funny, but interesting. Um, I have this thing set up on my group because FB changed the rules about groups and just anybody can join, and I tr was trying to keep the spammers out. So I set it up that the first time you comment, it's going to ask you a question, right? Just to make sure that you're not a spammer, the question is what's your favorite scrapbooking tool or paper craft tool, right? About 50% of you say the take your pick tool. Isn't that interesting? That's the one. I mean, there's a lot of things that come up. Big shot, cut and emboss, electric die cut machine. That's probably second place. But the take your pick tool is by far the most popular tool there is. All right. So your little envelope will hold your little sewing kit and 
Um, so that the sewing kit doesn't just fall out and get lost and your friend is like, I don't understand why you sent me this card, um, put a little glue dot there. Glue dot is not permanent, but it will also grip onto it. What, what is this right here? This little paper thing, some kind of staticky thing. Um, it will grip onto your sewing, your little sewing kit and keep it in place. I am going to put a little bit of liquid glue there, and then we're going to slip this down like that. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. A couple of dimensionals for our You Are So Amazing. This piece is four inches. The white piece is four and a fourth. You really need four and a fourth inches across to be able to get all those words on there. Okay. Last but not least, bring over your Tahitian Tide card base, a few dimensionals, and thank you, Mary. Mary says it's so cute. I love it. So cute. What is this? What was the sentiment in the pansy set? I wish I could remember now. I almost used it, but then I saw this one and I loved it. Okay. Um, I didn't do anything fancy on the inside other than just putting a piece of basic white. Because, I mean, we've done a lot <laughs> on the outside. Let's just keep it simple. I mean, okay, fine. I hear you all saying, please stamp the banner. It needs the banner. Okay, fine. We'll put the banner like that. Now, here's another thing you could get out your, oh, what's the stamp set we have that has the sewing machine and the yarn and the you could stamp that on the inside. That would be cute. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm pretty proud of my cards this week. I think they're pretty unique. Oh, I forgot the bow. Hold, hold, please. Where'd the ribbon go? Hold, please. How did we forget the bow? I mean, it's pretty fun, right? Um, oh, you're a retiring sewing teacher, Tony. You know, my mother taught sewing when I was a kid. Well, she taught... Um, smocking for those of you that know what that is um but she was a big sewer too and i learned to sew um but i would love to be a good sewer i'm definitely not a good sewer i i do enjoy sewing when i first got married i i did a lot of sewing um okay and put that right there there we go now we're done so cute so cute okay i have bonus projects for you don't leave yet um, so I got on this kick of like, okay, what could we put in the wagon? Well, uh, Easter bunny, of course. I mean, I forgot that this stamp set was even current. I was flipping through the catalog. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that stamp set. So cute. Easter bunny and eggs in a bubble bath wagon. That'll be on the vlog next week. Then how about the kids from kidding around? That's the stamp set we used right here. I, don't, I didn't like that. I mean, okay, I get it. They made themselves a little box and they're sailing on the ocean, whatever. Aren't they cuter in the wagon? I mean, come on. Very cute. Um, and then I knew you guys would be wanting me to make a 3D project. So there you go. These will all be on the blog next week. It holds five nuggets. It's a little bit delicate. That's what I'll say. When, you know, when you have paper like double up on the wheels is what i would recommend double up on the wheels those nuggets add some weight let me turn it like this so you guys can see it pretty cute right okay that's it now remember if you want let me get all the ones that are the free make and takes i think i even have enough magnets to send you all uh if you want these three projects for free you have until Tuesday this week, Tuesday, March 5th at midnight to get your order in. I'll remind you. <laughs> Gail, don't ask how many nuggets I ate this morning while making that. Um, they're so delicious. Um, so Tuesday, you have till Tuesday. The, the wagon set won't be out until Tuesday. Won't be available till Tuesday, okay? You guys have a wonderful week. I'll be back next week with um, the Xenia. Oh, the Xenia set's supposed to be back the following Monday. So I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna move forward with the Xenia set because it's it's so pretty and I want you guys to see it. Um, <laughs> you don't wanna buy this bundle. I Michelle, come on, it's the cutest one. And was it Lois that said she didn't want this bundle either? Come on, you guys. How can you not want this? I wanted this more than any of the other ones. It's just so cute. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will be back next Friday. I assume that there was a reminder I needed to tell you. 
Who knows? I'll send you an email or post on Facebook if I think about it. You guys, they are very putsy, Catherine. You're right. Um, yes, Nancy, I will be going to on stage um, the week after, what is it, March 13th, 14th, and 15th. So the second week of March, there will be no Facebook Live. Um, so then the following week, okay? All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Bye.